Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel and on today's episode we are going to be making an authentic stew recipe and this stew recipe has mixed protein inside it so if you want to see how this stew was prepared from the beginning to the end please stay tuned as I'll be taking you through all the cooking processes right after this intro don't touch to that You're welcome back. So first thing first, I said I had mixed protein in this stew and I have the pomo, I have the marzo. This is the marzo, which is the shaw. If you know shaw, you know. Uh -huh. So also I have my finely washed mackerel and seasoned and set aside. And I'll be frying that fish later on. So first thing here, let us season the protein, which is the shaw, the uh, pomo. I also have the beef. I also have what I have a body. So I'm putting in the seasoning cubes, two of it at a time into the the part and next thing I added in what my rosemary please people rosemary is very good it's a great spice for your recipe so keep using it and I added in salt and I also added in my dry pepper nicely blended and I added more because I want it spicy I also added in the white pepper this time adding in the white pepper I also put in the black pepper and after putting in the black pepper I put in the curry all the spices is just to make sure that we will season properly so that it has a good taste and after that I put in my what I put in my shrimp powder which I'm just putting in right now and I added in enough water to cook the meat in the pressure cooker and after that I covered with the lid and then I allowed that to cook so here is my vegetable I have the habanero pepper I have the fresh onions and also I have my what I have my spring onions this onions is the big one and I also have the tomatoes the paprika all in that bowl so right away we'll be doing what blending the blendables also ginger is not left out and now after blending i'll be putting it to my sieve and this is to reduce the liquid content of the vegetables so that we don't have to fry for long as well please don't forget that tip very important so let's blend the paprika and other things so keep watching And please at this point like this video share and please don't forget to comment at the end of the video and if you're new don't forget to hit the subscription button and also turn on the post notification bell so that you'll be among the first to be notified anytime i upload new videos so i just showed you the outcome of the saved vegetables and this time we are frying the fish so keep watching So at this point, the protein we cooked in the pressure cooker is ready, so it is time to fry after saving it into a bowl. So you can choose to fry or you choose to grill, it's up to you. So after the whole frying process, we'll go into the next step, so keep watching. So people, it is time to start frying our stew and I am using palm oil. Yes, I'm using palm oil because I needed that liquid taste in this stew. So I poured in my onions when the palm oil became hot. If you watch, I didn't allow it to bleach. I needed that palm oil taste in this stew. And after that, I added in my locust beans and also people, I stirred that and I added in my what? My tomato paste. My people, have you ever eaten this kind of stew? Let me know in the comment section is a mixed protein stew it is a local stew if i can call it anything you dim fate okay but for me it is my authentic stew so i added in white pepper and after that i added in other things like the black pepper the rosemary keep watching people And I also did what I added in the shrimps powder as you can rightly see and I stirred everything together and here comes the vegetable which has been saved. Did you see that the water content was reduced to almost zero and this enables your tomato to cook or your paprika or your vegetables to cook faster than expected. So here I put in the dried fish which I have washed. My people, this is looking so local. <laughs> if you agree with me, say yes in the comment section. And also here is my protein. Look at it. Look at this show. Look at how I'm dropping everything into the pot. Do you know you can serve this recipe with yam, plantain, 
whatever you deem fit, you rice, anything goes with this. And also, you can use it as a side source hmm, for your words, for your potatoes. My people, this is just for everyone. Thumbs up this video. Like, 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 people, and it means a lot. I just added in the stock water, and I'll just allow this to cook for about a few minutes. For a local taste, I added in crayfish to finalize the whole thing, and I also adjusted with salt. And this is what it is, people. The stew is ready when the oil sits on top. I say like this video again. You can see the oil is coming up, meaning it is what it is ready. So let us dish. So on a good and pleasant note, people, it will be a great pleasure to have all your beautiful and gorgeous looking faces in the next episode of Mom as a Kitchen and more. Remember, I love you all, but in all, God loves you most. See you all in the next one. And I say bye-bye.